Welcome back to Satisfactory. Hello, Ben. Hey, Jen. So I've done a few episodes on this because I wanted to cover this game. I love this game so much. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped. We got the space elevator, and that's where I called that. I said, you know what? I'm done. Mm, that's a good good stopping point. It was a good stopping point until I went home, got addicted again, <laughs> and, and just fired it up and went crazy. So I'm going to show you, and by extension, some of the guys at home, some uh -huh. of the things that I've done since, since I stopped. So this is a lookout tower. I put this up. And these are like a great way of just seeing your whole factory. Yeah, you've got so much going on. Because it's like people say Beautiful. that Factorio, it's easy to see where the problems are because you can see a top-down view. Well, mm. I, look, this is a top-down view. Kind, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Perfect. And, and I, can you can build like this, can't you, right? Like if I uh, like just like go, okay, put a, um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, look, you can, like the building has infinite range. Yeah, you can. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just, oh, maybe not infinite. Not but like, yeah, you can build from it. Not quite infinite. I remember I, I kind of went up on that peak over there you see opposite us. Mm -hmm. And I thought, right, I'm going to put down the space elevator. And I'm going to I'm gonna get like a big view of it. And I tried to put it down and I couldn't quite get uh, the range. So I had to get closer. Which is a shame because it's something you need to see happen from a, from a while away. You but, do need the distance. Yeah. Oh, but man, you've put down the foundations. You've got it all lined up neatly. I can see you've got plate, plate land. Yeah. There's, now you can see there's some problems definitely with my system. Like it's a bit congested, but if you look at the um, if you look at the miners, all mm -hmm. of the stuff coming out of there that's a constant stream. So there's no mm. hold up on the miners, but there is a slight hold up on the on the uh, smelters and stuff like that. I think everything's like slightly inefficient, but like not quite enough for it to matter. I mean, yeah, you've still got, you know, the the, the spice is flowing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The spices is, is rich. I'm, I'm like a curry house over here. <laughs> but we got basically. Um, so I haven't built many of the assemblers, the ones that make two items into one. Oh, okay. So you put like screws in the plates to make the strong plates. Yeah. All I've got basically is just yeah rods and rods and plates being made, and then mm -hmm. two giga containers to. Uh, oh, I like these triple stacked. Oh, it's, it's cool. So, oh, man, the, the, yeah, the conveyors go around and it just all fills up. Let's go downstairs now. Okay. Careful, because ladders are, Oof. are hard to do. Yeah, geez, now I, I feel Duncan's pain. Are you going to do it? Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Oh. I, did a, I did a weird jumping grab. Oh, hacks, hacks. So come over and we'll look, take a look at the hub first. Okay, so yeah. Have you got it all maxed out now? Yeah, because I remember I told, I told you... Uh, that, oh, you know what, I got to like a certain point where my game bugged out and I couldn't do any <laughs> yeah. more bits. And then last night there was a patch, uh -huh. and it was like, oh, updating, and I got very excited. I was like, oh, maybe they're going to fix that bug. <laughs> no, what they did instead is put a sticker over it saying, unavailable in alpha. Oh. So I always got as far as I could go. It's just they didn't really say that I got You didn't realise you'd got to the end of the alpha. Yeah, completed the game without knowing it. Oh, but, man, but there's loads of stuff in here we haven't played around with. No, yes. I unlocked coal power. So let's, since, since, I, since I stopped recording, mm -hmm. I unlocked uh, coal power, like the color gun, Mark two conveyor belts, mm. jump pads, jump pads, jelly landing pad. There you go. That fixes the ladder problem. Exactly. And you said, what's that green spinny thing earlier? Well, I'm going to show you right now, Ben. It's oh, come, come, come over here. I'm, I'm here. Now step onto this. It's, oh. The stairs are a bit tricky. Whee! Now you sh Oh, I missed. You missed. Oh no, I did it. Oof. I did it. Oh. Oof. So the jump pads, I thought I thought this would be a really cool way of getting to my coal power plant because okay. it's real far away. So I, I was going to set up loads of jump pads. Yeah, you could do like the other. jump pad express. But um, so if you land on a jump pad from a jump pad, you mm -hmm. take full damage and it doesn't really work. Uh, so you have to have these jelly stations in between. You do. And I thought, oh, that's a cool idea. So I can just jelly jump, jelly jump. But mm -hmm. it takes so long to get out of the jelly. Is it just quicker to have a race? It's quicker to run. OK, OK, so. If you want to jump we'll, we'll and I'll run, it. or are you going to jelly and I'll run? Or? Uh, I don't know. Which one do you think is faster? And then you pick that one. I think running's faster. Okay, you run, and I will I will jelly jump you. Okay. And we're going to race to just out of the jelly, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Get, let me get in position. Because this is the only way to know. Okay. okay. Oh, no! No! Abort! Abort! Oh. Hang on. I. Hang on. Ow. Oh. Let's try again. <laughs> Full start. Full, Full start. start. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, on on three, right? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Whee! Okay, so your way is definitely more fun. Ow! It, I didn't even land in the jelly that when, time. When you land, <laughs> wow! <laughs> you keep missing the jelly. I keep missing the jelly. But I'm literally here at the same time. I think it's like a foregone conclusion that it's it's quicker to run. 
yeah, but you know, jelly. Which is a yeah. shame. So, so, so before we uh, before we go to the Giga factory, the Giga coal plant stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you this big old storage container setup because you can stack storage crates. That's okay. great, but then you have to have like a system that pulls out from one oh, and, and goes into the and other, spreads them all out equally so they don't all just fill up. Exactly. Yeah, but you, you treat it like a big chain, and mm -hmm. the end one fills up, and then the next one fills up, and the next one fills up, and eventually you have a full system. And at some point, I can bring them out of the top one, and it'll be fine. Okay, so at the moment, they don't go anywhere. You're just stacking them up. Exactly. Just pack them, stack them, and rack them. Perfect. And I've got, like, probably about three full containers of iron plates so far. Oh, jeez. About the similar for rods, but the rods one isn't quite as big. And then this container's just got... Oh, I thought you said you didn't have any assemblies. I made one. I, oh, I buckled okay. on one. I just wanted to try it, but I was like, you know what? This has been on for, like, about 20 minutes now, and it's only got 70. Mm. Of these reinforced iron plates, if I sat at the crafting bench, yeah, that's not what this game's about. This isn't it's sit on a bench know, and hammer thing. This I game. know it's supposed to be about <laughs> automation, but the thing is, like, I need like three or four of these to start getting it to be really good. And I guess they take up a lot of space. Right? Yeah, so for my short-term um, goals, it wasn't worth doing. We should get some walkways and stuff up here, so we can like, you know, be like a manager at, at a factory and shout at the sweatshop workers for not working hard enough. We should, and I do have, I have got like a couple of mines going on the limestone, so we're getting lots of concrete, so we mm -hmm. can make lots of walkways. But these are the, uh, that's, so that's the, that's everything that I've done over here. Mm -hmm. I didn't do much with the copper stuff that I had, that's just making wires, just doing its own thing. And copper's like its own beast. Yeah. I mean, steel, um, iron is the... The one that takes up all the space and needs a lot of things going. So. Yeah, copper's basically just wires until... I don't even know if it changes, but... Uh, I guess I, maybe the rotors need them? They must need wires and cables, surely? Maybe. So I thought this was a copper vein, but it's not. It's just a bit... It's just a nubbin. Just a nub. Just a nubbin. So if we follow the cables, I'm going to take you to... Oh, man. So I... I erase... Oh, you're doing a Naruto run! What do you mean? Do it again. Run. I'm running. Oh, it animated weirdly that time. Oh. You were doing like your arms were flinged back. Maybe it was a bug. Yeah, I loved it. I want to see it again. Oh, I know. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll get lucky. So the thing about like biomass in this game, it's, like, yeah. it's a nice, cool start to the game, but it's not renewable. Like you can't. No, and get... you have to keep running off to pick up leaves. Exactly. It's a pain. Even wood. Wood's better. But mm. it's, 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 you still have to keep doing it. You still have it. to go and do it. And I'm not playing this game to do stuff myself. Exactly. And that's why we've got these bad boys set up. Check these out. You're gonna love them. Oh, oh it looks like. You know, whenever you see a YouTube video that talks about like pollution or climate change. Oh yeah, baby. And you just see that sort of generic um, stock photo, a video clip of like a billion coal plants kicking out coal. This is it. Smoke. This is the one. We are we are polluting the planet right here. This is pollution uh, ground zero. It's all backed up. Slightly backed up. I, I thought that one coal vein could support six power plants. Turns out it could probably support about nine. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you've only got one mine producing all this coal? Yeah, come take a look now. It's quite far away because when you when you ding for coal, I don't know if you can do this as well. If you hold C, can, have you unlocked coal? Uh, yes. Sweet. So if you ding for that, ding. it's pretty far away. Oh, yeah, jeez. So I had to build this giga platform. This is like a giant bridge over a chasm. Oh, wow. And then it goes down here. I set up like a little kind of crafting bench because... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, because yeah, life's too short. Yeah. But distances are not, unfortunately. And there you go, oh, got man, like a coal vein. I can't believe it feeds so much. So how much does it make? It makes 120 a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's big, big, big boy, this. Oh, clock speed. Oh, I see, yeah. You can feed the local monsters into it. Yeah, but I don't know about that because um, I went around looking for those slugs. And actually, I say that, there's one on the horizon just now. Over I saw the... a red one up here. A red one? Yeah, we just walked past it. Should we go get it? Look, it's up there. Let's go get it. Okay. Um, it's. I don't know how to get up there. Do we need, like, a jetpack? No, we just need to make some okay, make our build. own stairs. Yeah, yeah. So this build stairs or a jump pad. A jump pad. <laughs> uh, maybe. I am already on like three bars of health. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm, I'm building like a, a ramp up here. It's, it's quite quick to do this actually. It's not too bad. Uh, oh, might take some time. Oh, if we started far enough away. Uh, we can. Jimmy it. We can we, <laughs> we can, can improvise. Spiral ramp. <laughs> Let's go through the through the rock. It's all oh, right. This feels a bit Fortnite, doesn't it? It is very Fortnite, actually, in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you know we're not doing this to avoid sniper fire. We're doing it to get a red crystal. 
I'm doing it to avoid sniper fire all the time. <laughs> but it's cool because like you see so many sky islands in, in the distance and you think, oh, I wonder what's up there. Well, mm. go find out. Go check yeah. it out. Exploration is kind of supposed to be a big thing, but so much of this game isn't in yet that, well, I guess we'll find out if it actually is. It's hard is. to know, actually, isn't it? Like, yeah. we might get there and it might just say, placeholder, item four, or something. You found a cool thing. <laughs> Work in progress. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What, did you hear that? Yeah, the voice of RoboGod told me to harvest the specimen. But it said, I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Yeah, that's that's pretty stern words from the AI. He's normally pretty chill. I think this might be an... Oh, is it, uh, is it like the robot from Alien? Oh, is this the real reason we're here? Summer Sloop. Oh, work in progress. If we hang out, I think it's going to keep telling us to... Is it? Is it talking to us? Is it magic or psychic? Oh yeah, I think we've oh, we we've we found some story, Ben. Ooh. This is the law. What is a summer sloop? Oh, it's talking again. It's definitely evil. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. Let's un let's unlock its evil secrets. Yeah, do you reckon we can put it in the research thing? Um, I uh, maybe. I'll take a look. Let's find out. Hovering over a strange alien thing with a mind bending and somehow familiar shape. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. Oh. Wow. Oh, well, at least we know now. It will later. So, yeah, check those things out. They're cool. So, I've got some materials here, Ben. Mm -hmm. I gathered everything we need because one really cool thing is you can press Q. Yep. And you can say to yourself, right, I'm going to go and build a project that's going to need uh, three miners, um, whatever, and then queue it up in the to-do list. Mm -hmm. And then you gather up all those materials and you're good to go for that whole project. It's all mapped out. Oh. So I've done that, and, and what I've mapped out is two truck stations, uh -huh. one tractor, uh -huh. six miners, mm -hmm. and twelve smelters. What? What is this project? Cars come over here. So I pressed. I, I did the C thing. I did notice that you only you only got one tractor. There's two of us. Uh, we can take turns. <laughs> <laughs> take turns, Ben. Um, I'm very like you know, easy going on that front. Okay. So there's lots and lots of iron over here. Uh, I found like a good old batch of iron. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought I found six. There's two. Yeah. Oh, there's three over there. Two over here. Three. Oh, there's four over there. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Wow, that that's is six. a lot of iron. Jeez. So if I toss you some materials. Okay. I need to ping off the caps, don't I, before we can. Um... Oh yeah, yeah. Let's ping them off. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Using a chisel to get rid of a giant boulder. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Mandy Dufresne oh. shit right here. I did do this once. I was um I was on a beach with like a whole load of different kinds of rock, and I thought I'd recently watched one of those um like vid uh, videos about how like early man built tools, right? And how you get like um like a certain hardness of rock and use a different kind of rock to like chisel it into the shape of a hammer and to like an axe head, and I tried it out, and it really works. You can like super chisel off um. Bits, bits of hard rocks with softer rocks until they're in the right shape and then use that to break bigger, harder rocks. It's like super low tech. So it's like rock progression. Yeah, exactly. It's the idea that in the end you have a diamond hammer or a uh, diamond pickaxe. Is that yeah, what my Minecraft I, I'm pretty it? sure wow. that's what Minecraft, Minecraft was inspired by this same like early man history video. <laughs> wow, wow. There you go. So we, we've, we've chiseled off some of these. I'll just quickly put down some uh, miners. Boom. Because what I want to do is, my, my idea was, we're not going to do any making over here, but what we're mm. going to do is we're going to gather up loads of iron, okay. smelt it all into bars, yeah. then we're going to load the bars into a truck station, oh, okay. program our truck to come over here, pick up mm. the iron, drop it off at the Giga Factory over there, mm -hmm. and then do a loop. Perfect. That sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to need some power over here, too. We are going to need some power. I'll have to drag some cables. Shall I go get a load of... Um Mats and do that. put some pilot. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I've got everything at the moment. Um, does that make sense? Sorry about that. It's not too far back home. It will take you about three minutes to walk it or something like that. Okay, well, that'll give you time to get your layout the way you want it. Oh, this uh... is going to be the Giga Iron production. This is going to be so good. <laughs> so if one's, one miner makes about enough mining stuff for two for smelters. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ratio. But it also actually does depend on the quality of the ore that it's on. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, because these are on impure, but the other ones over there are on normal. Normal oh, ones. Oh, and then, does that increase their harvest speed? I don't know, but at the end of the day, I think we've got 
We've got plenty of smelters, and if it can't quite give them enough, doesn't really matter because we're just going to be making a lot of iron anyway. So. Yeah, if we're slightly less efficient, it's not the end of the world. No, exactly. But what we are going to need is some splitters. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm nearly nearly out of all that cable you gave me. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, come back. Sorry, right, I can probably craft some more. I can I can toss you some. One of the uh, important things as well is that every machine has a ladder on it. And that's really useful because you really want to be high up when you put down machines. Oh, actually, we should probably build a tower here for like a watchtower to like um, top down view the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shout. Oh, man. When you get all the conveyor belts in position and working well, it's a good feeling. Yeah. When everything just lines up. I mean, this is aptly named game, isn't it? Because when you do it right, it's very satisfying. Yeah, it is very satisfactory. <laughs> Okay, oh yeah, Shin, up here. Look, look, look. This is this is how to build. Oh nice. So what does this look like, Ben? Does this look like um, it's going well? Any problems you see immediately? No, no, it's all looking good to me. Right, and then what's gonna happen once all these um smelteries are online? Uh what's the next step? They all feed into one big like truck stop? Yeah, we're gonna go for a truck stop. Um, but I've never built... I, I built one before and didn't really look at it because I just built it because I had to to get a truck. So, oh, um... Okay, so you know it works and we're going to play around with it right now. And in theory, what it says it does is it, um... lets you auto-load into trucks. I thought trucks was, like, um, was something you had to, uh... Oh, belt's too long. I thought trucks was something you had to drive yourself manually, because it makes sense. Yeah. But no, apparently they'll drive themselves, Looks like, like a Tesla. Drone, drone trucks. Yeah, yeah, like Elon Musk tractors. Musk trucks. Musk trucks, yeah. That's what they're called. It's the official name. Uh, apparently the official name is the Sugar Cube, but... I, I, oh. That sounds like something that the devs trying to force. <laughs> and it won't be yeah, erased. Yeah, stop trying to make Sugar Cube a thing. Now, now you've got so many materials, we could, like... I've never tried it, but there's loads of, like walls and like walkways and like you know stuff that looks nice and helps you get around but isn't actually yeah there useful. is like, we, could, we could build like a house or like an indoor factory but the problem with that is um all that smoke yeah <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna die <laughs> we don't want that indoors <laughs> uh but it takes so much time as well like they look cool i think it's like something that you can do now that we're in the alpha and um can't get very far with the game you yeah, might once, as well once you run out of things to do you may as well build something pretty you can also color your machines oh yeah which is uh so they don't have to be orange no no i saw one guy that made his all, all of his red oh okay. which is cool apparently you can change the color i couldn't work it out all i could make paint them was blue which okay. is uh well i saw the color gun in the in the tech tree yeah yeah it does exist so do you reckon we're ready to put down the truck stop um, nearly. I've just got to do something very important. Oh, no, I need biomass. Because it's not small, the truck stop. Okay, where is it? Oh, wow, no, it's not small. I think it that? takes up probably... It looks like a 4x4. Four four. So I'm going to build some extra platforms over here. Yeah, let's, look, let's not squeeze it in. We've got plenty of space. Let's, make, yeah. let's do this right. That's it. And that's the big classic mistake. I mean, you can be efficient, and it's good to want to be efficient, but... It's but uh, let's, I'd rather not squeeze everything in and have it all confused and on top of it. Yeah, you will kind of give yourself like a real hard time later on when you try and uh, squeeze. It's the conveyor belts that do it. You, you get all the machines and you're like, that's great. That's just enough space. <laughs> yeah. And then you need like loads of room for conveyor belts. Yeah, and they keep saying, you know, not enough clearance. It helps that you can go up, like up later on. Like can, you can make um, conveyor belts go over things. Yeah, that's true. You can have like tri triple decker conveyor belts and stuff. But it is still tricky if you don't plan ahead. Are you in the ring again? I saw it. Oh, how? <laughs> I is, don't know. Is it the diagonal it's thing? Secret. When I run diagonally? Secret Naruto runs. Every now and again you run... Oh, maybe that's like a, a little Easter egg. Um, I think we should use Mark II conveyors for this. For the input. If there's limited inputs, then the faster we can move it in, the less jammed we're going to get. Right. Yes, I agree 100%. So we just build one... One central line of mergers down the middle. Everyone connects into it. And we have like one each side that, that zips in. That makes sense. That makes sense. There's probably a much better way of doing this, but this makes sense in my head. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's basically my, my life. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it just, it's good enough, right? <laughs> There's a much better way of doing this, but this is fine. <laughs> no, yeah, but this is fine. This is not hurting me or anyone else. 
Uh, all right, and and I'm gonna use Mark II's wherever I can, cause well they're expensive. God damn it, we got the we got the, you know, got the honk. We got we got the goods, didn't we? We got we got exactly what we need. Okay, yeah, there's already massive backups. Oh, that's because nothing's getting fed into the truck stop. Oh, is it not? Does it need to be powered? Um. Oh yeah, of course it does. We go powered. Um, okay, it's take. Wow, it's got a big inventory. It's got a big, big booty for, for taking these loads. Ooh. Um, big booty truck stops. It won't be efficient, but we'll get lots of iron. Yeah, it's true. it'll be fine. Well, this this stream is on is not stopping. Last bit. Right. But but the inputs are backing up, and we haven't even connected half of them yet. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not good, is it? I think the bottleneck here is the truck stop. Well... But once we've got this truck stop working and the, the truck going, we can always expand it out and build, like, two more truck stops. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Do that later. This is this is just a test of... It's proof of concept. Yeah, yeah, that's exact. yeah, that's the one. That's the excuse for why it's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's the classic excuse. Why does it suck? Well, it was a test run. Uh, test run, proof of concept, uh, proof that I suck. At concepts. And, uh, yeah, turns out I was right. I do. <laughs> we also need a truck. But where do you build the truck? Uh, do I press Q and do you, then... Do you build it where you build the little hand miner? Oh, no, you just press Q and you put it down oh, on the okay. ground. So do you, want, do you want to build the sugar cube? Let me, uh... Are you ready? Ah, it takes coal. It does take coal. The coal fits. Oh, perfect. So we can bring a coal input. Well, no, we'll have a truck stop over there. That, oh, that and that'll drive the, the coal truck. over. Yeah. Although, actually, I think one truck stop has to be a loader, and one has to be an unloader, so maybe we do need several truck stops. I don't know. Hmm. Um, right. Are you ready for truck? I'm ready to truck. Here we go. I always wanted to be a trucker. Dun, 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 dun. Think how many audiobooks they get through, man. Like, Truckers. Maybe? I would. Or podcasts. so many podcasts if yeah. I was a trucker. So, have you put the coal in? Uh, Take it for a spin. Oh no! I put the coal in the um, in the truck stop. Oh, not in the truck. Ah, we need a little bit of residual fuel to get us going. Because I want to um. see you tear that thing around. I wonder if I can ride it while you're I... going. Oh, I can try. How do I drive then? How do I put the fuel in? Oh, is it go go into the inventory? It's the workbench. Bit. Oh, the workbench. Ah, I see fuel tank. Right, four fuel. Boop. Takes the coal. Takes. Uh, it has so far. Can I drive. Yes! Oh, nice! We got a coal power track! Oh, look, here he comes! Oh, There's a crane! Pick no. him up! Pick him up! <laughs> Why is it taking? Um, it's taking instead of giving. Oh, oh, right, you can set that on the truck stop. You see it says ah, unloading, yes. loading. 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 We want it to be loading. We, want, we do not want a selfish truck stop. A generous one. Is that, is that how it's doing? If we... Hover, hover under it and see if it see if it goes. Yeah, I think you have to get like right underneath the arm though. Okay. It did give me the fuel. Now I've got a hundred fuel. Gave you the fuel. Yeah, it's loaded. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's happening. It's doing. How quickly is this loading? It's quite slow. But how much is it loaded in that that animation? Like if that's like a thousand. Whoa. Okay, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks. Okay, so it empties the entire inventory in one animation. I think, yeah, if I hover over the truck station, it says transfers up to 120 stacks per minute. 120 stacks, not yeah. items. Oh, that's crazy. Wow, okay, here we go. Iron coming through. Doo -doo. So that's going to drive all the way up here. And then go to a truck stop over here. Um, I, I don't know where you're pointing. Uh, I guess just any anywhere uh, near this big Apparently you can ping with left click. Oh, you can? Yeah. Is this, um, are you, no. you getting pinged? I'm not getting Maybe pinged. I need a pinger. Oh, yeah, probably. Okay, here we go. It might be more efficient to have the ramp over here. You reckon, like, nearby? Like, yeah. Because that, that was a little, little bit of a roundabout. That's a good shout. Although, thinking about it, we're so close to where the iron is, we might as well just have conveyors. But trucks are cool. Trucks are quicker. They are quicker. Because the truck comes here and then it unloads, you know, like a billion ingots in one go. Oh, so provided we can get enough of these into enough truck stops, 
we can get loads of stuff very quick distances very you know oh. yeah because like conveyor belts are like really bottleneck because they only carry you know one ingot per per frame or oh, imagine like a whole factory run on many small trucks oh drone trucks okay how do we program him to dro drive without me so i'm not i'm not quite sure you if you hold down c i think you get a bunch of options oh yeah Autopilot. So what you're supposed to do is, um, I saw a video on the guy explaining. Oh, start recording. It says I just tell it, I drive, and it records that route, and then, um, and then it does what I did. But you have to do a loop as well. Oh, um, okay. So if you press, um, let me let me let me try right, let and me, do um, it. I want to put some ramps down. If you hold C and you say start recording, and then it says autopilot recording. And now I'll just do a quick little loop, mm -hmm. and behind me... Oh yeah, I can see the little arrows. The little arrows. Alright. And then if I get back to the end, and then I... Now you've got double arrows. Finish recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now enable autopilot. Mm -hmm. Autopilot active, yes. I get out. And away he goes! Oh, wow. Going for the wheel spin. Oh, I think that's because I went a bit too far on the uh, on the thing. Uh, or maybe I bugged it. Oh, no, there, there it goes. goes. Hey. Oh, look at him go. We. <laughs> I love him. Sugar cube. Look at you go. He's a little bit shit. I like his jiggle, jiggle winch. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you actually fell down. Are you, did you die? No, I'm okay. <laughs> That's cool though. Oh, amazing.